hey guys welcome back once again in this video i am going to show you how to apply pagination to edge grid table as you can see here i have simple edge grid table with data and these data are getting from external api so if you want to see how to call external api and bind data to edge grid feel free to check description of this video where you can get the link all right let's get us started and implement pagination okay so let's go to the vs code here and here you can see i have ag create and here i have defined this property column definition default column definition and on grid ready so basically api call i am making and binding the data that is going getting handled here on grid ready function now let's go to the default column definition so here i am mentioning sort table equal to true that means i can sort the table okay and next property is editable true that means i can edit it okay the next property is flex one and filter true so flex one means the whole table will these four columns are gonna to take whole width okay and the another one is the filter so i can filter from here filter a certain uh, record based on the condition the next property is floating filter the floating filter in the sense we are going to get this filter below here means below the columns okay guys so now let's implement the pagination so for that we need to add a extra property here to ag grid that is called pagination and we need to provide value true okay save it and let's check to the browser and here as you can see here we have pagination right so for the first time we have six row okay and total of 500 record i am having let's think if i want i don't want six page only here i want it to be four or three something like that so how can i do that so for that we need to add pagination size okay so what we can do we can add another one property here that is called pagination so pagination page size and let me give here value as a four save it and let's come back here as you can see here we have here four records right because we have mentioned here four if i am mentioning here five so i will get five record okay so now i can see the first time i will get only six record what if i will mention more than that so let's mention 10 record so the scroll bar will be added here and you will get 10 record for the first time okay all right now i don't want to set the pagination size based on the height of the table the pagination should have to happen so for that we have we need to add another one property that is called pagination auto page size so here pagination auto page size and here this is gonna to take boolean value so we need to provide true and let us see so as you can see here we have six record okay now let me increase here this uh, height of the table so now i have height 500 so you can see here we have eight table okay so let me revert it back sometimes what you have to do you need to go to the certain page for the first time itself so how can we do that that means once the we are loading the table i need to go at the page number 10 so how can i do that so for that what we can do while the loading the table 
we are uh, making call of this function on grid ready once the grid is ready means are rendered successfully so let's go to this function and here after setting the data what we can do we will get this params okay and from the api and we can write a property here okay so that is called pagination go to page so pagination go to page and this function is gonna to take a number okay so that is gonna to be your page number so let me provide here 10 and save it and now let's come back to the browser and you can see here you are in 10th page okay how you can see that so for the first time we are loading the six record and that has been gone you can see here we are in 11th one because 10 has been already crossed what if you want to select the dynamic pagination size from here at the top so what we have to do we can add a drop down at the top so here let's write select and give some options here let's define for the first time 10 and define this value as 25 and here let's add 50 and option let's call it as 100 okay so now what we will do we will define this value here so value is 10 value is 25 and here this value is gonna to be 50 and here it's 100 okay so now let's come to the ui and here you can see we have a drop down with a different value okay but it's nothing happening as of now so for that let's handle a on change here so on change and on change we are going we are gonna to fire a function so we can call it as a e and here let's print the value first so e dot target dot value save it and let's come here and go to the console and now let's change the value so you can see here i got this 35 once again if i will change to 10 so i will get 10 okay so now what we have to do we need to manage a state so here what we can do here we can write const okay and here we can define this or uh, directly we can write a function okay so on pagination change okay this function is gonna to take a page size so let's call it as page size okay and what we will do we have already stored this value into the grid api so we will use grid api here so grid api dot api and we are here we have one function that is called pagination pagination set page size okay so this is what basically we are trying to do and what we will do we will give uh, here I did mistake so page size and here I need to pass this page size okay and now I need to call this so I need to define this one so const and I need to call this function okay so what i will do instead of printing here doing console log i will call this 
function I, I am passing number from here so now save it and let's come to the UI so here I am selecting 25 but here still we have 6 row why is it happening so everything is right okay so what we have to do here we need to dis remove this property okay pagination auto page size because this is gonna to take based on the height of the table okay so what we will do we will comment this code save it and now come back to the browser and here you can see we have 10 for the first time okay now let me select 25 so you can see here I have 25 data right now if I am going higher so you can see I have 100 data okay guys so in this video we have seen how to apply pagination to a grid table and second how to go to a certain page while the loading the data or loading the table itself or how to give pagination auto page size okay and how can I give a input box here and from there I can go to the certain page all right you can find download link in description of this video if you like this video do like share and subscribe thanks for watching see you in next video